Thanks, GT. And we're down here with Australian track legend and Coles ambassador, Sally Pearson, to make a very special announcement. Coles, who have been a wonderful supporter of Athletics Australia and Little Athletics Australia since 2017, have today committed to donating $2,000 for every Australian record broken in a final of an open event between now and Monday. For every Australian record broken in the final at this year's Australian Track and Field Championships, Coles will donate a $1,000 gift card to the record-breaking athlete and a further $1,000 to a community Little Athletic Centre of their choice. Sally, how excited are you about the Coles Australian Record Challenge? I think it's pretty fantastic. I mean, it recognises the achievements of some brilliant athletes who are going to be competing over the next, well, four days for the open age group. And then it also recognises the hard work of the little athletic centres that will also be donated the $1,000 as well. Um, we have to remember that all the athletes, a lot of the athletes here, I should say, at the national championships have been developed by their little athletic centres as well. So the recognition for them is just as important. Now, you yourself came through Little Athletics in Queensland on your way to becoming a world and Olympic champion. What do you think $1,000 will mean to a Little Athletic Centre? Well, I've seen firsthand what the Coles Community Grants have done for the Little Athletics Centres around Australia. They've donated over $1.6 million worth of equipment through their, for the, through their community funds. So a little bit help, every little bit helps to be able to help I guess buy some more equipment for them, buy some laptops for some of the uh, officials and also could also help some athletes get to little athletic centres each week to be able to participate. Now you of course own your own Australian record in the 100 metre hurdles. We have a lot of exciting athletes yeah. in your event this year. What do you think of the field at this year's Open? Oh, it's been huge all season. It's really exciting to see uh, that we have some female hurdlers coming through. We've had such great competitors in the past, uh, and then me, and now we've got a whole group of them. I think we've got six of the top ten girls racing at the national championships here on Sunday. So it's going to be a huge race and a very exciting one at that. Now, are there any other athletes in any other events that we should look out for for this Australian Coles Record Challenge? Oh, as you know, Ben, there are so many this season. I guess one huge mention is for uh, Rowan Browning in the men's 100. We could potentially see the second Australian ever to break the 10-second uh, the barrier if he's on fire. We've got Nina Kennedy in the pole vault, who will definitely be up for this Coles Australian Record Challenge. Uh, we have Ben Deary in the 400. We have Curtis Marshall in the men's pole vault. We have Brandon Stark in the high jump. I mean, the list goes on. It's absolutely the exciting era for Australian athletics and I can't wait to be watching. Now, we miss you out on the track, but how are you enjoying that retirement? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kind of loving it. I mean, I love being a mum. It's the best thing ever. I do miss the competing and I'm here and I've already got the nerves and I wish I was out there competing with the rest of them.